Hello everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're meeting Gary. Hello. Who has done something really, really good that I just think is, is something you should really be interested in. Gary, you have taken a horse trailer and turned it into a home and a toy hauler. Yes. Uh, tell us that story. How did you end up doing that? Uh, well, originally we I had horses and mules and uh, we used the trailer to haul the animals and... Uh, I was married at the time, and my wife and I, the marriage didn't work out, so I kept the trailer, she took the animals, and I turned this horse trailer into a toy hauler. So, uh, some of you may, may or may not know what a toy hauler is, so tell us what a toy hauler is. Well, it's a, a, a trailer that you can have a living quarters in and, and uh, haul your motorcycles and boats and whatever you want in the back, it's just or cargo or whatever you want back there. They're kind of uh, very handy to have as a trader because they're so versatile. Right, yes, uh, they tend to be, the front half is a living quarters and the back half is for a garage, it, all, yes, for all practical purposes. Exactly. And essentially that is what you have done here. Yes, yeah, it's worked out great. The, the front half is your living and the back half is a garage and we'll go back and look around. Sure, yeah. And, and I, so why, what was your motivation to do a horse trailer instead of a toy hauler? Well, originally, because I had the horses and I had the trailer, and uh, so I thought, well, I don't have the horses any longer, so I'll just utilize the trailer and make what I want out of it. Were, are there trade-offs or advantages and disadvantages to a horse tra trailer as opposed to a toy hauler? Um... Well, the, the fold-down ramp is one thing, and, and a guy could probably do that uh, to this one if I wanted to do that. But the ramps work out okay to get my motorcycles in and out. But the, the beauty so, of... So, just to clarify, toy haulers come with a drop-down ramp. Yes, And exactly. this doesn't. No, it doesn't. Well, how would you load the horses? Um, well, this, this trailer was lower. They can jump up. It was lower to start with, and I turned the axles, put the axles under the springs to raise it to get better clearance. Uh, so originally it was lower to the ground and the horses would just jump in. Just walk, just step yeah. in. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't have a drop down rack. You're just using r ramps you sit down. For, for my vehicles, yeah, for right. the motorcycles, yeah. Right. And they work fine. So, were there advantages to having a horse trailer as opposed to a toy hauler? Uh, I believe so, because this thing, it's all aluminum. There's nothing to rot and go, go wrong with it. Uh, and the walls are made for horses to kick, so they can't hardly, you, you can't hardly hurt it. It's just a tough old trailer. Uh, it's a 1983 Featherlight, and it will, I'm sure, outlast me unless I wreck it somehow. Uh, so, it's... Once, once you do what you want to do to the inside, it's, it's there for keeps. Right, whereas uh, my experience with nearly all RVs, including toy haulers, uh, is that they are, you buy it and they start falling apart. Exactly. Yeah. Um, half the time they come off the factory, crap. I mean, yes. just crap. And uh, Although I think toy haulers are better built. Yes, I believe so, if you get the quality ones. Yeah, you, I've seen some cheap ones too. Spend the money yes, on exactly. a, a quality toy hauler. Yes. Well, and also, when you built this, uh, you built it to exactly what you wanted. Yes, it was kind of a long-term project. I just started out with, with the living quarters. It didn't have the shower or the table. I just had the counters and the refrigerator, just a kind of a camping vehicle. And we showered in the back uh, in a swimming pool, little kid pool and like that, because it was just, uh, the horses were back there. Uh, they were, that's where they we hauled them and, and we just move them out and use that to shower and that. But after the horses were gone, I put the, the restroom facility and the shower in the front and then, and then just turned the back into my garage, like all the, all the toys with. Well, now, um, I got to be honest and say my first thought is when you say you turned, you had been using it to haul horses and you start now you're living in it is, ooh, <laughs> is there an ooh factor for you? No, not at all. Uh, this thing was just all aluminum on the inside when I started out, and, and after hauling the animals, I just took a pressure washer in here and pressure washed everything before I started the, the paneling and the insulation and all that, so it was squeaky clean when I started out. There was nothing back there, and the, 
I took the mats out and carpeted the, the bottom and just put insulation all in the walls and everything. So, you know, it was a clean start uh, on, on a, a strong frame. Yes, the uh, amazing frame. Okay, and I just got to tell you folks, I think this is one of the nicest homes I've ever been in. And uh, and really, it, it was reasonably cheap. You Have you have you kept track of your costs? You know, I really haven't. When I, when I bought the trailer, I paid, uh, it was $9,800 for the trailer when I bought it, which was, you know, being what it is, because it's really, it was made for thoroughbreds, and it's a well-built trailer better than most. And being Saul's aluminum with no uh, steel to rust and that, uh, so it, it was worth the $9,800. And then I just uh, slowly accumulated the stuff that, in, in fact, I'd bought an old camper that was kind of rotten away, and I took the refrigerator and the stove and the sinks and uh, some other, that, that door that I was out of the camper, and I cut a hole in that wall to put that door in, and uh, and just kind of used parts of the camper, so that, and the camper was, I think, five, $500 or something like that, so, so that was that part, and then it was just, uh, kind of finding this and that, and, and doing, you know, whatever I decided to do next, just a little bit at a time, I, I didn't really keep track of the expenses of it, but it, well, that's also a big advantage to uh, building your own, if, especially when you have time. And a lot of folks have uh, a few years before you can go nomadic. Uh, you, you have to sell your house, you have, you have to take care of family, the kids have to grow up, whatever. If you're looking at five years, you can buy an, a trailer like this and then just slowly build it and, yes. and extend the cost of the build out over years. Yes, and then find things used that you might use and... Uh... It, it's worked out great. Just keep your eye on Craigslist and get something that would cost you new uh, tanks. Tanks are really expensive. Did you get any of your tanks used? Uh, no, I actually bought those oh. through a supply. I got two holding tanks, a black water and a gray water, and they're, I think, 28 gallons a piece. And then uh, uh, the water tank come out of the camper, and it's uh, like 25 gallons. Uh, so that, that didn't cost it. You know, that was included in the $500 and all the appliances in here. And, uh, and so, yeah. The... So it worked out really well, and you've got an incredibly strong, really beautiful home. Oh, well, thank you. It's really beautiful. You folks are going to love it when you see this. It's just really nice. I uh, did it more for, uh, I, I, don't, I don't see it as that beautiful, but it's real <laughs> functional. That's, that's what I was going for, uh, function. I, and you're right. You know, a lot of people would look at It's not fancy wood. There's no, no gold plating anywhere. No, no. Uh, but, boy, it's well done and uh, very, very functional. Well, thank you. To my yeah. mind, that is beauty, true yeah, beauty. Yeah, for me it works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, would you mind if we uh, took a look around? No, help Okay, yourself. let's yeah. do that. So, folks, we'll probably end this video here, and we'll start a new one, and the next video will be the actual tour. I, I just think this is a super idea, that if you have the time, if you're looking at some time before you can get into being a nomad or start traveling or retiring or whatever your situation is, if you find a good used trailer, all aluminum especially, if you can, they're really expensive and hard to find, uh, and you build it slowly, you're going to be really glad you did. Okay, so thanks much for watching. I uh, hope you got something out of this. And uh, come right back for the uh, tour video. And uh, if you like this, watch us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later. Bye.